Logan everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song The Space by Marillion. And this is their live at the Royal, Royal Albert Hall. Um, yeah, Royal Albert Hall, that that place. Um, just because this does come as a request, so as always, if you would like to request something, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to get to it. Um, and so what I've been doing is taking every single request I get on my channel, putting it into this Google Sheet. I hit the randomize button three times, and the top result is the next song I listen to. So that's how we got here. All right. I can't say I've ever heard anything from this band, so I'm hoping, uh, you know, I'll be pleasantly surprised. We'll see. All right. Like I said, Merlion, The Space, live at Al uh, Royal Albert Hall. Here we go.
That was cool. I dug that. I dug that a lot. Where do you want to go? Make up your mind. Ooh, all right. So, a lot of great things to say about that one. But I, I do have a question. I'm sure somebody can answer it for me. And I'm sure I'll probably find my own answer at some point. But um, I'm curious about, like, the I guess the original version, you know, the studio version. Is it also symphonic so this is like a symphonic band or was this just kind of something they did you know like a one time let's add some symphony to our um, <laughs> to our rock music uh because this felt very progressive in nature this gave me yeah definitely a very like progressive metal progressive rock vibe uh while also giving me like a symphonic rock symphonic metal vibe so and i mean you know those two things aren't necessarily mutually mutually exclusive um, but yeah, it sounded very progressive while sounding also symphonic. And so I'm just wondering, you know, was it originally like a symphonic metal song or is it like, is it meant to be, uh, like a one-time performance with, you know, um, with this, um, symphony here basically. So, uh, but I liked it, you know, get to see the old guys rock out. It was, it was cool. So, you know, we're going to break the song down like we always do, of course, starting with the lyrics. So. Uh, let's see, when did this originally come out? Because, like I said, these are old guys. Oh, 1989, cool. And so for it to sound progressive, oh, look, there it is, progressive rock. But for it to sound progressive from 89, I mean, that's impressive to me. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't have any other uh, instrumentalists mentioned there, so I'm not sure. Anyway, on top of the world, like a flag on a mountain, feeling so high you can feel so alone, unable to breathe at the height that you flew, staring on clouds with no view of below, on top of a girl like a dream in a hotel, falling towards something out of control, unable to miss like the man in the tram, crashing your car in Amsterdam. He did it without knowing. I uh, didn't feel a thing. He just wrecked it and kept going. The space around the stars uh, is something that you know. A billion miles of darkness left you feeling low. The space around the stars is something that you know. So the space around the stars like the emptiness. So it's like emptiness is something you know. Everything about you so perfectly restrained, but everything inside you bites you. Ooh, so like you put a you put a very good like you put out you put up a very good face, but like you know there's turmoil inside. Uh, everybody in the in the whole of the world feels the same inside. Everybody in the everybody in the whole of the world, 
everyone is only everyone else everybody's got to know everybody lives and loves and laughs and cries and eats and sleeps and grows and dies <clears throat> everybody in the whole world is the same this time in the same is the same inside in the whole of the world interesting it's very interesting lyrically and i feel like um i'm not entirely sure what the message is about if there is even really a message um from what i can really understand it's just like you know we're we're kind of one in the same a lot of the stuff that maybe you feel isn't exclusive to you um and like you know you put on a brave face but we're all kind of you know we're, we all go through turmoil in, in some fashion so i wonder if that's it uh, but regardless, you know, the lyrics were interesting, and I love the way he sang them. So two thumbs up. Um, as far as the instrumentation goes, you know, a lot to take in here. I love the guitar solo. That's kind of the, one of the first things that sticks out to me. Love that guitar solo. It was great. You know, added a whole lot to the song, I feel like. I uh, love the way it was sung. That was really cool, too. He just had this sort of, like, classic rock vo like voice. So seeing that it came out in 1989 actually doesn't surprise me a whole lot. It had sort of that, that vibe to it, especially in the vocals. Um, I think the like, keyboard was good. Um, really, the uh, the symphonic parts, you know, the, the the symphony did their job. They played really well, and I feel like um, it definitely added a bit to the song here and there. It didn't, you know, that's the thing. It didn't overpower the song. I feel like it was still like a rock song, and I, I got those rock and progressive elements uh, through this performance. Uh, but I think the symphony, the symphony came in and really added some some much need, like I wouldn't say much needed, but added some really good. Um, uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, so just uh, really good parts of the song, um, and, and it was just really enjoyable. So, um, instrumentally, you know, vocally, I give it two thumbs up there as well. Um, as far as replay value goes, you know, if I mean, if the original version sounds pretty good like this, you know, I'm, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I like the lyricism. I like the guitar solo. I like some of the instrumentation in here. I'm interested to see if it's symphonic um, in the studio version as well. Um, if it is, great. If it's not, I think that's also probably fine. I'll, I'll probably listen to it regardless, you know. So I'm actually really excited to go hear the original version. So, you know, I'm thinking I probably will put this on my playlist. So two thumbs up all across the board. Um, overall, just a, a fantastic request. So thank you so much for whoever made that request. Um, as always, if you'd like to make a request as well, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to get to it. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go listen to the artist. Go support them wherever you can. One place you should be able to find this song is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below. It has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. And if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. All right, before I let you go, help me figure it out. What are we listening to next time? So let's get rid of this one. We're done with it. Let's try to randomize again. And one, two, and three. Prize Fighter, Fighter Inferno, Our Darling Daughter. If I'm not mistaken, this is um, Claudio's uh, other side project outside of Coheed and Cambria. So looking forward to that one. Hope to see you all there. Bye for now.